everybody, Jill McCarthy, Sensi Star Director. I'm so happy to be joining you via video. Um, I wish I could be there. I hope you're having a great time at Becca and Callie's Leadership Retreat. I know that when I went about four years ago, I had one of the best weeks ever. I learned so much and made so many great friends. I learned a lot about myself, a lot about the business, and it was just fabulous. Again, I'm, I'm super sad that I can't be there with all of you, but I wanted to share with you some system tips. I'm very much um, an organization freak. I, for probably the last year, I felt very scatterbrained. You know, I'm sure a lot of you have a lot going on with kids and your business and husbands and maybe other jobs. and. I can only describe it as though I felt like my brain had a million of index cards and the index cards were scattered everywhere and I felt like I needed to put them in order. Um, being OCD and, and extremely organized, I feel like every thought in my brain needs to be organized as well and it just wasn't. So I went on the hunt for some organization classes and, and took a few and I took away a lot of tips from those. And so what I want to share with you today isn't a huge aha, you know, it's, it's not something that other people haven't probably told you in the past, but I want to give you some more in-depth tips of exactly what I'm doing. So the first thing that I want to say is that I found the only way that I was going to get organized is if I made a commitment to get consistent with my business. It doesn't matter what planner you put in place, what digital calendar you use, what you decide to do on a Monday, if you're not doing it on the next Monday, you know, your, your team probably won't take you as seriously as you want them to take you. Um, you need to stay consistent and that will be anything from doing something on a Monday, doing it every week, if you do a team call every month, you know, stay consistent doing it every month. Um, we were doing team webinars um, because my team is mostly all across the United States, but if you're local, you could do local meetings, coffee breaks, you know, whatever you want. They don't have to be elaborate. They just give you guys a chance to bond. And so when I found that I wasn't finding a way to kind of connect with my team, we just weren't having that vibe. And you know when your team is connected. So once I made a commitment to get consistent, I started having team webinars. I'm using Spreecast or any meeting every Tuesday at 9 o'clock. And then I started to see things really mold together. So um, that's my first tip. Whatever you decide to put in your place, whatever you learn here this week um, or take away from some of these tics, tips, make sure that you get consistent. Make sure that you're doing them every, every week so that your team can really see that you're serious about your business. And in all honesty, they will mirror everything you do. You know, if, if you're not showing up and opening your business doors, they won't either because they're learning from you. So, um, like I said, get consistent, you know, do a team. It could be just two or three of you getting together for coffee, talking about some things that may bother you, talking about some things that um, you don't have a handle on as far as it bothers you if you're not getting bookings or you don't know exactly what to say about recruiting. You all can kind of feed off each other. So, um, and then to plug in with all of the other team calls, Becca has two calls a week, um, you know, the, the director's call, plug in. It's super important that you get consistent with plugging in. So people would ask me all the time, Jill, how do you stay on top of all these calls and things we have to do and checking stats and checking shooting star and, and doing all of these things? Well, I went back to things that I have learned before. Of course, I've always been a big planner addict and having to write things down and make sure I cross them off, but I had a bazillion planners. I was carrying around a planner and a personal calendar and a, and a business calendar and then a notebook for the director's calls and team calls. So I've been through a hundred planners. Again, not an aha moment, but then I read in my organizational class to find a notebook or a planner that can hold everything you need. And so after a bazillion planners, I found the ARC customizable notebook planner. And what's great about this, it's kind of like a three ream binder, but more looking like a planner and it's customizable. How many planners have you guys gotten and you start using it and you just find that it doesn't work for your business? Well, this planner, you can take things out, you can move things around. There's little post-it notes to put on important dates. So my director's call notes, my team notes, my business notes, my social media planning is all in one notebook. So I highly suggest that you find something that works for you. You may go through a few and it may, you know, touch the wall a little bit, um, but I highly recommend uh, this one. It works for me and I can give you guys information about it. I think I got it at Staples. Um, 
but just for instance, you know, my, my first section has a to-do section because I'm a highlighter. So my calendar's in here. When my calls are, you can kind of see things that I have highlighted. And then I have my Sensi section. And um, it's the great thing about this is you can get printables on Etsy and print them out and you get the arc system and they'll plug right in here which I love and so inside we get all these handy dandy calendars from Sensi you know so I put them inside here to give me ideas of what to put on my team page so I make sure that I follow that um, there's also the I choose Sensi calendar right up here that I look through every day and of course the cute one that um, that Kelly sends out to us I use to give the team tasks on the team page um, something else that I do another tip is make sure you guys show up to your team page again you have to show up people need to see that you're serious about this so I usually do a Monday motivational video you can take your phone um, go to your camera app just do a quick video hi guys hope you had a great weekend just wanted to touch base with you don't forget we're in the last week of the month um, if you have any issues you want to have a coaching call or a Skype call together make sure you contact me uh, we can chat about anything you need and it's just two to three minutes and then I post that on our team page so it's our Monday motivation Tuesday I'll do a Tuesday tips Wednesday I do a Wahoo Wednesday Thursday I'll usually do social media Thursday and give them a social media tip and then Friday we just usually do shout outs and get ready for the weekend but I do that every single week consistently super important so how do I stay so I have my notebook and I have my calendars but how do I make sure that I'm doing those and, and not forgetting anything well I've tried Google Calendar for years um, and I'm sure you've got other Calendoo and different apps that you use find the one that you love and then learn it so many of us don't have any idea what features some of these calendar has calendars have sorry and it can be a lifesaver what's that Becca you don't have to be perfect to be powerful so this is key right here if you're scared of the video camera you will mess up and you will fumble and it's okay because Becca has taught us years ago you don't have to be perfect to be powerful your team just loves you and they want to see you and when they do it motivates them and it gets that burning fire back in them to share Sensi with everybody so Google Calendar I sat on Google Calendar one day and I just went in and out and read this wonderful blog post of how to use Google Calendar and I was setting up all my tasks to times and I found that I can't stick to those times a phone call would come in a hostess would call I'd be at work whatever the case may be so I would stick things that were according to times appointments that I couldn't miss of course and then all my tasks for the day would go at the top of the Google Calendar so within each day if you set it to a week all the tasks that you need to do throughout the day you just set it to an all-day event such as check team stats um, post motivational Monday call for potential hostesses check in um, with four recruits and so I would have those repeating weekly and I would have them set to give me 15 minute reminders and in the morning reminders so every morning whatever I have to do for the day pops up on my phone and it doesn't disappear until I finish it and can slide it through that was a godsend for me because it's on my phone it's gonna keep alerting me till I finish that also works for posting on my social media pages or calling people that I need to call really I know that learning some of this stuff can be daunting but it has really changed everything to me consistently since the beginning of 2014 now um, I post my motivational Monday I post my Tuesday tips I post my Wahoo Wednesday um, I get my newsletter out I'm getting things done and it's because I'm using the resources that are out there that can help me you know you can write everything down in a planner and sit there and plan out your whole day but how many times do we get to the office or do something and we never even open our planner that happened to me millions of times so like I said it's no aha moment you've just got to commit and I promise you once you get consistent your customers get consistent your team gets consistent and it changes everything I can't stress enough I was a classic had the most beautiful planner and I walked around with it like I was in it every day and it just wasn't working so I had to kind of combine the two and that's okay um, so I have my notebook here for all my notes that I can refer back to and just glance at if I'm not near a computer and then I really use the functionality of the Google Calendar and I can do a printout and show you guys like exactly um, I have it up here what did I do with it um, do, 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 do. okay so some of the things that I have each week for example like on Tuesday I'll have check team stats connect with my front line that can be by text or Facebook I post kudos and tips on our team pages 
um, I make sure that on Wednesday I check Shooting Star and Sensational Start. I on Mondays I make sure that I, my welcome packets go out and um, I call and message for potential recruits. I check in with my hostesses on Fridays. I check in with other team members and maybe post an incentive for the weekend. So everything's at the top of my Google Calendar. I have it repeating every week. I have it set up to give me alerts. Now, if that sounds crazy for you, just all you have to do is plug in and Google, Google how to use Google Calendar or how to use whatever calendar you're using. But really use it and set it up so that it's you wor working in conjunction with your phone so that everyone, everything can be syncing back and forth. Once I committed to doing this and the first thing, instead of opening a planner every day, I open my Google Calendar and it's already telling me what to do. Um, so I know it's not an aha moment, but if I tell you that it totally changed everything for me this year and really got me on track and got me motivated and, you know, it's a little bit to set it up, but once you do, it's smooth sailing, I promise. And so, um, you know, I'll try to give Callie some links of exactly some, some places where I looked of how to use it or if you guys want to look me up on Facebook, feel free. Um, but I hope you're having a fantastic time. Really be a sponge, soak it all up. Give Callie and Becca and Terry a big hug for me and I can't wait to hear all about your leadership retreat, guys. Have a great day. Bye.